We got our breakdown of college football ultimate team. They're calling it cut, and we are going to cover everything in this video because there's going to be a lot of people. Some of it's familiar. If you've been playing ultimate team, some of you guys have not. You have not. So we want to cover everything. And yes, some of the mode does involve spending. I'm hoping EA, they pull that back just a little bit for everyone. Um, but there are some new ways to make coins, build teams and do all that, which seems like it's a better option for grinding. Again, anytime you're in an ultimate team mode, there's two ways to get things time or money. And that's always the choice that you're going to have to make. Let's break this all down. Some of it is kind of expected. Some of it is new and I like, I will cover everything here for you guys. Strap in. Let's have some fun. And if you don't like ultimate team and you're just curious about it, you don't have to try it on day one. You can watch. We'll be covering it. And we will obviously give you guys every single step of the way on what you should be doing in college football ultimate team. All right. We're in. Um, so again, uh, the, it looks a little different than what Madden ultimate team is, but for the most part, after reading through the blog, double checking, a lot of it seems visually the same. There's a couple big things that I want to kind of get out of the way. Hey, there are going to be NFL players in here. Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, some guys that they listed. There will probably also be some guys not in the NFL, maybe retired players, legends, and hopefully we are also getting some guys that uh, didn't quite have the impact in the NFL, right? Again, I always think of a Pat White. Maybe you're thinking of Tommy Frazier, stuff like that. Um, so again, what Ultimate Team is, is a team building mode with cards. Uh, so you will see a lot of stuff in here. There are going to be challenges and objectives. The challenges are normally single player offline modes. You're going to go through and earn really, really basic parts of things. Okay. Uh, a couple coins, a couple cards, some XP to build up your field passes. A field pass is going to be like your season pass, right? As you fill it up, you will get rewards. The better rewards will obviously be, well, at the end. Okay. Um, they say coins, coins everywhere. We'll see about that one. Uh, but when you start to build your actual ultimate team, you're going to be able to build from people currently in college and other cards from other promos as well. Again, we talked about some of that stuff. One thing that seems to be different here is we have team chemistries for all the college teams and we have scheme chemistries, schemes, real scheme based stuff. So a three, four scheme, uh, a spread scheme, stuff like that. So you're going to be able to do that. However, Ever, it looks like and it sounds like anyone currently in college is going to be able to get every sort of team chemistry. It's kind of hard to build up to a 50 player squad with just Ohio State players. It's hard. So that's why they're helping that out. And I, it sounds like and, and, and I assume that uh, any legends, previous college players will probably just get their own team. You know, um, they show a Joey Bosa card. Maybe he only gets Ohio State. Uh, part of the reason they're doing that is talking about the transfer portal and be able to keep up. Again, that's different in Madden. Sometimes they have all team chems, sometimes they don't. Um, but as you start to build your team, you're going to start with a pretty small team. It's going to be a pretty terrible team. Talking all about the chemistries. Again, as you build chemistries up, you will get certain boosts on all the cards that have a matching chemistry. So we see here with the pistol one, uh, add the pistol playbook your lineup to get a plus 25 chem boost. So if you use the specific playbook for that scheme, you're going to get a pretty massive boost there. So playbooks will have all 134 of the team playbooks and playbooks uh, from each of these special schemes as well. Uh, like we get spread, run and shoot, veer, veer and shoot, I think it was called, stuff like that. So by adding that specific playbook, you're going to get a much bigger scheme boost. So if you can use that, that's great. What I'm curious too, and we don't see it in here, is if you were to use, say, UGA's playbook, you get a big boost on the UGA stuff. Maybe. I, I, I would like to think that you would, but we, we don't 100% know. If you love sports, you're looking to take your daily fantasy experience to the next level. Check out my favorite app in the entire world right now, Prize Picks. Really simple. All you have to do is pick more or less on a player's projection, and then you can win 
up to 100 times your money. We're not going to leave you hanging here. If you use code CC when you sign up right now, you can get your first deposit matched up to $100. All you have to do is either click the link in the description, go download the app from the App Store. Either way, you will be set and ready to go. And this way, you will not miss out on the weekly specials like Choco Tuesday, which is discounts, Flex Friday, which is a protected entry. So check out Prize Picks today. Again, use my code CC. Thank you guys for all the support. Back to the video. So here are all the schemes that they are talking about here. Every card will have a scheme on it. Okay. Okay. Get it. Got it. Good. Um, and again, I, I haven't seen the playbooks, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if you want to try out playbooks, there are solo challenges, which lets you go in and see them all, uh, which is good. I'm sure there's just a regular practice mode somewhere outside of ultimate team. I don't know. Um, I didn't personally see if there was anything in there. Um, and here's where they're talking about uh, player items will have access to all 134 team cams. It says all player items will have a default team cam. However, with transfer portal, we want to allow you to put your favorite players from all over the country. Again, uh, they're not showing us some of this other stuff here. So we just have to kind of understand um, and what we need to know and how we're going to build our teams out again with abilities is going to be similar to Madden um, by putting certain abilities on cards. Only certain cards are going to unlock certain abilities. And again, I think that's more hands-on where we need to really find out uh, the ability sets that we need to have on cards. So I'm not overly worried about that. Uh, the front of the cards, again, trying to help out on just giving people more of an idea because there are so many different players out there that you may not know that someone is a good card or a good player or they have a certain attribute you're looking for. So it's all in the front of the card there, which is kind of a nice change. Uh, and then they're talking about the item rarities here. Again, that's the stuff that you're going to see on like on the back of the cards with certain uh, abilities, just giving everyone that idea of like, this is good versus this is better. This is worse. Uh, a color coding map is obviously helpful. Common, you've played mutt. Common gray, uncommon green, rare blue, epic purple, legendary gold. That's the same color scheme that Mutt has used uh, for a while on a lot of this stuff here. So like we see here with Joey Bosa, you can see all this. We have a, a Michael Penix getting some of these bronze tier abilities and all that. Uh, again, abilities is its own sort of thing, right? With the programs, these are your promos. And there's a couple mentioned here, Ultimate Alumni. And they have a bunch of these uh, kind of in the pre-order where they seem to be just previous players from last year or getting... A decent little overall starter card. A lot this low overall stuff. 82 seems to kind of be where free kind of comes into play uh, at the start. There's also going to be conference stories of the week leading up to seasons. They're going to highlight uh, a lot of stuff. New players, challenges, sets. Be on the lookout. We have Jonathan Jefferson from SMU in here. And again, a lot of times when you have current players, they're not going to have an actual picture. They're going to have an in-game capture so hope that makes sense as part of the hey the game's been gone for a decade they have an in case you missed a program here as well going over some of the important things that have happened in the past this is where we see a joey bosa card uh you'll get a chance to look back at the moments and get some players from some of those big moments curious to see what that is and then we have legends which we know is a weekly thing we see ray lewis right here. I love the way that that looks, right? You have an opportunity to see how the goats of the past match up against today's stars. Sure. They're sort of in charge of that, but we don't really know. They said weekly, they said weekly, but I don't know the cadence yet. Uh, that's obviously going to determine a whole lot how they are going to manage, uh, college football content and Madden content together. I do not know just yet. Unfortunately, I wish I did, but we'll see how that all plays out, I guess. Now we get to play the game. You've built a team, you can play the game. Live events are these things. There's going to be an orientation thing. Again, it's a real beginner thing. Get through it, then you'll start to actually get to your field pass when you're going to get actual rewards, different packs, and all that sort of stuff. You'll have different sets to put cards in for upgrades. They always talk about it like it's a good thing on regular upgrade sets. Generally, not the best thing to go into. Uh, maybe early on it's fine. Who knows? Uh, we get new ways to play. There is a solo seasons option in here. Again, is it going to be worth your time? If you're not spending money, it seems like it could be a way, but again, you need to know what the rewards are. 
we don't really know what the rewards are. Solo seasons and solo battles are indeed back. If you want to play online head to head, you can obviously do that. Generally a pretty good way to play, uh, but we have sweatier options now with gauntlet coming up. How can you enter the gauntlet? It's where you have to get 10 wins, and, but you only get to do it once a week. It's on the weekend, but if you get two losses, you're done. A ton of great rewards, including coins, national champions pack, and exclusive players. Very interesting. We always like to see that. Uh, gauntlet is Friday at 1.30, Monday to 1.30. You can enter the gauntlet with coins or by winning through champs during the week. It feels... I'm, I'm not an expert on this. It feels kind of FIFA-ish, FC24-ish with how that is all set up. We need to actually see uh, how that all works. Uh, and then they're going to have general house rules. Again, shorter options for online games with different rule sets, college overtime they have here, uh, and, and some other stuff. So that is really what's going to be coming. It seems like they're putting, obviously, very mutt. It feels very mutt-ish with a couple changes to it right now. Again, what I want to see, how are the rewards? Again, if you're asking for my time in a competitive mode, I need to make sure that my time is going to be rewarded accordingly. Same thing with an offline solo seasons. I need to make sure that if I'm going to put in an hour or two to win this, is it worth my time? That's how I actually got into that transition from playing a lot of uh, mutt without spending money into spending money because I found for me personally that two hours of my time to get 50,000 coins wasn't worth my personal time and that's how i made the switch however in mutt we also do a no money spent series i will probably not have a no money spent series for college ultimate team it's just a, between college ultimate team regular dynasties road to glory regular mutt no money spent mutt it's a lot to manage however when we cover any college ultimate team stuff i will always give you guys all the best advice that i possibly can or spending money, what's worth your time, what's not worth your time, and how to go about getting things done at the best possible way. That is always my goal with helping you guys through Mutt, letting you know what's good, what's not, what's a terrible waste of time, and I will always be as honest as I possibly can because I feel like that is our job here as a content creator. So I, I'm, I'm excited for it. If you're not that excited for it and you just want to check it out, you can come by, you can watch the videos, check it out, have fun, and make that decision. That's how I eventually, I kept seeing a little bit of Ultimate Team here and a little bit of Ultimate Team there. I was like, I'll try it out. I was watching other YouTubers. That's what I used to do. Crazy enough. Uh, back in Madden 13 days, it was a while ago, and I learned from them. I hope I can teach you guys some stuff. Let's have a great day. Thank you for your support. I'm out. Peace.